you, brothers. Um. There it is. The Juggernaut. It is a Dread. I named this base the Dreadnought. There's more to build. I'm actually getting rid of some part of this front line, so put more Hellfire Cannons. But hello, three Hellfire Cannons so far. I am currently missing one more to finish the first stage of the Dreadnought. I am also missing one more Cruiser Cannon. As you can see here, we have three Cruiser Cannons and one Nuclear Silo. Uh, so welcome to my base tech. Um, this spot right here is another Hellfire Cannon spot once I get rid of like some of the Swiss. The Swiss are primarily going to be for anti-missile primaries, while the Hellfire Church is going to be uh, ripping apart literally everyone else. So, there it is. Of course, we have four Ranger. we got four Ranger hangers. Look at that. Um, okay. Four Ranger hangers, just based off the design alone. I really like the design of it, but at the same time, it doesn't really feel like it fits well. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, how does it look so far? I definitely feel like it looks good enough. Maybe I should put the other double hangers below, but at the same time, it takes three tall slots. Three tall slots to fit in one ranger hanger. So I don't. I, I really don't know about this. Also, say hello to my ammo manufacturing plant. Hello, all belts, and it works. So if you notice how I was trying to figure out how I can get the ammo from the third belt to the second belt because the auto advanced auto loader only takes away from two tiles away from where it's placed instead of the third tile, which is I feel like it's a miscalculation on their part, bastards. Uh, I just. At every corner, I put in a conveyor belt that allows me to push him into the second. So, everything should be in either... It'll go into the second belt, which is absolutely fine. And then over here, of course, it pushes into the second belt again. It continues on. And so, make sure that all the auto loader, no ammo is wasted. We have more utility slots here. I have a better design to place down ammo uh, production. It requires pillars and lots and lots of pillars. All right. So, hello to auto ammo production. All I have to do is go to the final stage, turn all these bad boy odds, and it automatically makes ammo. All right, let's go and turn on the, uh, what's the thing my Bob called? X-Ray. Hello, say hello to X-Ray. Say hello to my power bank storage. I can actually work on this better too. Again, it's based off of pillars. You can actually do a shit ton of pillars. It just costs a lot of resources, specifically metal slag that makes pillars an end game type of uh, resource. Um, that allows you to stack even more like battery pack. But right now with my current design, I think I'm just gonna stick with generic panels at the bottom because I'm gonna stack also resource crates uh, at the bottom here too. That's why I have like 15,000 uh, resource um, Storage. My power is actually decreasing because of the amount of like turrets I'm placing down. Uh, in the end game run, we also want more advanced armor walls to help provide structure enhancement to any other comp. Oh, wait, is that just for? Wait, what? Advanced structure enhancement. What about armored walls? It's level two. This is level nine. It doesn't really feel like a level nine. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like it's a level nine. You don't really see that much like HP going up unless it only affects the walls in front of it. In which it doesn't. So I don't know exactly how this component shit works. I think the uh, advanced armor walls might be bugged. Um, but yeah, in game wise, we're going to have a lot of advanced armor walls. Finding the conveyor and pillars blueprint. Uh, so go to the research guy, the, re the old guy next to the girl with the skirt. Uh, talk to him. He tells you if you're missing blueprints in particular areas. So you want to go back to those areas to find those blueprints. And I think the conveyor is... I think the conveyor is a snow blueprint. The pillar should also be a snow blueprint. It's either snow or ruins. Um, there's a link. I think we have the link here. It should be under this link right here. Outpost blueprints. Check that out. There's a linky link right there for Outpost Infinity Siege. That should tell you some of the blueprints. It doesn't tell you exactly what bl blueprints you unlock from each blueprint, though. So it could be hard. I, I'm not too particularly sure. But that's when you kind of go to the talk to the dude what blueprints you're missing. And hopefully it's the one that shows in that link. Uh, so next is generator power. Welcome to my power generator. I'm using pillars, which is much more effective in terms of space versus uh, walls. So I'm able to fit, if you have like multiple pillars, one wall will give you one uh, generator at a time. Three pillars can actually fit in four, and if you keep extending the wall, you can fit an additional two between each sets of three. So, or f yeah, two between each sets of three. So you get more uh, generators and core power out of pillars. So hence why pillar is one of the end game uh, type of build. I love the fact that my camera goes on the conveyor, it rides the conveyor, that's hilarious. Found another bug for those guys. Uh, but yeah, 
So this is the way I stack my core power now. It's just, just keep grinding pillars and stack more generators, and that increases my core power that way. Uh, so if there's a little neat tip and trick that you didn't know, there it is. The next floor? Uh, that's where ammo production is. I don't really have that much ammo, auto ammo creators. I think it's like around 18 or some sort. So many times to find the Aegis blueprint, it was horrible. Dude, I just did it once in Snow 4 and I found it. I was like, what the fuck? I think it's because of, uh, I think it's based off of like Poi, um, Poi RNG, right? Also, ad break should be coming up now, so we're going to take a little pause here. Yo, Otian, what's up, dude? Good morning from Vel's stream. Hello. Uh, come on in. Uh, let's see here. There's nothing on this floor yet. I'm still developing it. Uh, but we do have bad breaks, so I'm going to have to pause the stream here, the VOD as well. Uh, then I'll just remove that in the YouTube video whenever I get the chance. But we do have ad breaks, so we're going to go over to the ad break screen. Give me a second. So, yes, uh, back at it again. Let's take a look here. Uh, I'm saving this for more generator spots. It's just your end game is generator spamming. It's your best way of getting power, unless you want more storage. Eventually, you don't really need as much storage. And your battery gets capped anyway, so you don't need as much battery. Probably like around 4,000 max batteries is good enough in terms of battery storage or power storage. Uh, just because each map comes in like between 2,700 to like 3,200 or some sort. It always stops there. It's based off of how much you can auto roll through each map. But I don't, I think that's a, like an uh, uh, overlooked factor. Uh, so, but yeah. If you want core power, which is this thing right here, these are the most important stats for your end game. You want to stack as much core power as you can to increase the damage of your turrets, increase the radius of your uh, your your blue radius thing, with Bob. Uh, that allows you to like move around the map, uh, being buffed and whatnot. Like there's like this little stat in game where you pick up, you get ten percent increased damage for anything that's within that blue aura, for example. Core power is capped at three k. What? Who told you that? There's a cap for core power. Are you wait are you seriously? What is all this generator that I'm spamming? You tell him what the fuck? Is that an overlooked thing too? Why would you cap it? I want to feel OP. Wait, so your end game is cap? Maybe you shouldn't. Core cap later? Maybe you should just increase the core cap now or just not put a core cap down. Because I want to feel like I'm destroying stuff. What's, what's the point of going through infinity mode when you're capped by core? Wait, can somebody explain that to me? So is that- are you telling me that ammo maker that- Okay, so core cap is stuck by- what the fuck? Right now you get 100% more damage per 1000 core power up to 300% damage to all your turrets. I mean, still fucking huge, obviously. The core cap is actually 10k. Okay, well, thank god I'm out of 10k. I thank you, Rem. You bastard fucking zero. Always- You spreading bad info. I believe Rem, because I like bigger numbers. <laughs> Uh, 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 so 10k apparently when was that changed they should just have it infinite we want da the damage number goes up nah to be fair i feel like it's okay it's just because you don't really want it super min max you want to make your base look a little bit better i guess talking about it yesterday but yeah we're gonna put a hellfire turret here on the first floor hopefully the uh, ammo collector does kind of link up with it and then two hellfires in the front um one hellfire over here so we have plenty of space done because I don't really want to go any higher with the current build ba uh, base that I have right now. So even the fact that I've already placed out my cruiser cannons. And then I have the, um, the Duke silo. I'm planning on placing one more cruiser cannon. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put missile silo to take care of like small, more of the smaller junk. Because uh, the nuke, if you ever use a nuke launcher, it has a 10 minute cooldown. And it causes a sandstorm. Oh, and if you're close enough to a blast radius, it launches you into outer space. So yeah, it will launch you. It fucking knocks me all the way <laughs> all over my base whenever I launch it close enough to my base. It's kind of hilarious to be fair. Uh, but yeah, so okay, so core power is actually cap at 10. Um 10k. So we're gonna try to reach 10k for infinity mode. I don't understand the 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 the, the, the thing about having core power then if if the end game right now is infinity mode. You want to try to climb it as much as you can, right? Unless there's a cap for infinity mode, which we're gonna probably do later today because I need gear. Uh Otherwise, I'm looking for nano processors. I'm still missing nano processors specifically for Hellfire Cannon because I'm planning on making one, two, three, four, five more Hellfire Cannons, and that requires at least 25 nano processors. Um, I've gotten 15 nano processor in one run before. There's an actual trick to do it. You actually have to grab all the tanks with EMP uh, and tanks with shield, and then there's one where at recovery day you have a double proc. Uh, for all epic plus reagents, 
in which also affects nanoprocessors, which only increases the enemy's damage by 30% and HP by 30%. So it's actually one of the best perks out there to get if you're specifically re like farming for, let's say, nano chips uh, or nanoprocessors. Very, very effective. Unless you're just going for a money run, which is, you know, super stacks, of course. Other stuff scales up to 10k. Damage is capped at 3k. I don't even know what the damage is. I also need to move, like, the healing grenade launcher out of the way. Maybe just move it over here. Yeah, we move that over here just because, well, the, these middle sectors are going to be filled with hellfire turrets. And I'm going to have to move those, like, uh, ammo production, too. Let's go move them out of the way first. I do want to make some engines. I'm going to increase my core power a little bit more here soon. Give me a second. If I could just get this here, that would be great. See me, little bastard. <laughs> so these are ammo makers specifically for people who need ammo. So yeah, just in, just in case you need ammo. Don't know why I can't push this in, but I can put. Does that take like a two by three or something? What's going on? Why can't I push that in? No space to put guardian fabricators. Not like we need guardian fabricators at all. You still gotta feed them ammo manually. You know we got time for that. You just so so 3k is cap for all useful purposes like damage for UI display 10k is the limit so 10k is the limit for core power but is it is it hidden cap at 3k so 3k so do i build more core power or do we not build more core power is the question here interesting these, these are some information i, I guess it got data mined because i don't know i don't know if the devs would tell you that that's kind of dumb i don't like having core power by cap what, what's the point of having all this core power then <laughs> Speaking of, I need more generators. I'll show you exactly how to stack. Um, I'm going to give more up automated you know, capacitors. I have a lot of gold. You, you can see I have uh, 800,000 gold. I've, I, you get a lot of money in endgame. To the point that buying a lot of stuff doesn't really matter that much. Or most of the items that you uh, can buy doesn't really need to be grinded in game anymore. Because you can just buy it with money. Um, besides metal slag, of course, I wanted to go to the manufacture stage. So is 3k core the captain? I guess we want to just keep stacking damage amplifiers, which increases max power. That makes more sense to the fact that I want to stack more batteries just to get more damage amplifiers for my Hellfire cannons for damage increase. Uh, generator! Two nanoprocessors so far? Let's fucking go. Easy collab. Oh, I'm actually stalled by superconductive material, which I've not been grabbing. Rip. All right, so there's 50 generator. So this is what exactly I would do. I would have to delete the walls that have utility walls. Utility walls is still cheaper to use. The fuck? I can't move out. What the fuck happened to my pan? Oh. There we go. I don't know if I was a bug. Oh, you can't... Wait, what? How did I move up and down? Uh... Horizontal free camera. Oh, I pressed R. Oh, wait, that's actually so fucking useful. That's great. So you can press R to lock where your camera is vertically. That's uh, that's actually pretty good. Nice. Uh, anywho, back to base building. Yes, good old fun base build building. We love base building. There's a base building stream. All right. Fuck me in the ass. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I want to be close enough so we can actually build. Actually, I think I'm just going to keep it free room. So I'm going to delete these three walls real quick. I think you want to keep the center. No, you don't want to keep the center walls because you want to stack in as many pillars as possible to stack as many generators as possible. It's a quicker way to delete stuff, but there isn't. But yeah, you just stack more pillars. I don't know if you can stack a pillar in the center. I think this is much easier to do with the small tiles, but it doesn't seem like... I think you want to leave the... Oh, you can. But you can't really fit in more generators, so it's not really worth it. So either way, you kind of want to just use utility tiles for this. So yeah, so this allows me to spam even more generators. So you're telling me that 3k core power is the highest you can actually go, or is that for damage only? But you can actually go for 10k core power. Hmm... Then again, I've noticed one thing. Whenever I go to a uh, prototype facility, uh, prototype facility is that one fucking random facility with a mech inside of it. Uh, my scanner never reaches it. Think for damage? Dude, that's so stupid. 
why, why am I building all these generators then? What's the point of having more core power if you can't really have more damage? Is that why my power is also capped at 3k? Because I assume that core power increases also your power cap and whatnot. But I'm not too particularly sure. But maybe power is actually its own individual uh, type of perk. Yeah, just try to stack as much small generator as possible here. Uh, with all these, like, um... These pillars. So, like... Indirectly, probably three, six generators, so you get 60 uh, fucking power, depending on how you build your uh, pillars, of course. Uh, you don't really want pillars in the middle going vertically instead of horizontally. Uh, but you get 60, 60, 60 powers, yeah, 600 power, 60 power, yeah, 60 power. Well, okay, so I forgot about the other side. It also gives you more power if you go into the other side, too. Actually, I gotta delete this wall now that I think about it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you even get more power. Uh, you get 12, so you can actually fit up to 120 uh, core power with three pillars per stage. What's up, Fire Phoenix? How's it going, dude? Good morning. How did I insure my stuff? Almost broke my computer moments ago. Lost my character with everything red on. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. You got that far without realizing how to insure your shit? What the fuck? Uh, you right-click your um, you right -click your gear, and then it says insure. And then you, if you want insurance points, you have to sell other gear to get insurance points. You died with all your red gear. Now that I think about it, I actually have a burst boot that I need to insure it. I keep forgetting to insure it. Yeah. Wow. All that fucking red gear. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Uh, 07 to all your red gear. The, <laughs> the hardest way of grinding. Well, actually, it's not really that hard. Apparently, there's like a way to grind red gear, which I don't really particularly follow. You just auto, and if you don't get any red gear, you just leave. You just leave because you get all your shit back. I think that's exactly how it works. I don't remember. Didn't know that too. Okay, well now a lot of you guys know how to uh, insure your gear. Uh, go to your gear, right click your gear, click insure. There you guys go. I, <laughs> okay, to be fair, I found out how to insure my gear after Ruins 1. You're not alone. I lost two sets of gear. You're not alone, friends. You're not alone. I also pulled the big bad. I, uh... And not a lot of people know about the insuring gear part. But yeah, this is exactly how I stack core power for endgame. I just build a bunch of pillars, and I stack a shit ton of generators. You can kind of do the same thing for Ammo Maker once I get to that point, but... Uh, how many... Actually, I want to test something. I got 13 pillars left. Uh, let's go ahead and use it here. Can I put pillars here? Nope, because belts are in the way. Never mind. Spoke too soon. I was going to do that for the ammo crafters too, but you don't really need that many ammo crafters. I always see myself in abundance of ammo whenever I use ammo crafters. Oh, I got a rehot key. Unlucky because I deleted it. <laughs> All right. I also noticed that their, um, their hotkey is a little bit buggy. Or they're double. So if I try to double click my auto loader, you, see, you hear that sound? Is that allowed, allowed? You have to triple hotkey. Triple click. Okay, nope, it's not. Dude, why is it so hard to select all my fucking auto hotkey? My advanced auto make. What, what is going on? What is this bug? Is it because I have so much? There it is. God damn it. No! Hello? There we go. Oh my god. It's so fucking- that's so- that pisses me off. Uh, anywho. Uh... Done. Control save. Done. Alright. So, we 